everyone and it's time for another product review so once again one of the items I picked up in Buffalo which they do not have in Canada yet and it is the chow creamery cre creamery plant-based shreds this is the Mexican style blend and I'm hoping it is gonna have that Mexican flavoring to it which would be a little bit of a hint of spice because the day one mm, not really and I believe the uh, vial life doesn't taste too spicy either. But let's take a look at the nutrition facts for every serving size. And there are seven servings per container. You get 80 calories, eight, uh, 6%, six percent, six grams of fat, sorry, five grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, no cholesterol, 250 milligrams of sodium, six grams of carbohydrates, no fiber, no sugar, uh, no protein, uh, basically nothing else. No vitamin D, no calcium, no iron, no potassium. It is made from water, coconut oil, cornstarch, um, potato starch, fermented tofu, that's right. And you can see here, it does say that it's got some cayenne pepper, green bell pepper, green bell pepper, sorry, natural flavor, olive, ex olive extract, beta carotene for color. It does contain soy. So I've made enchiladas for the second time. You might see the first video that we did before this or not. Um, we used the turkeyless ground from Trader Joe's to make some delicious enchiladas. We're like, we love Mexican food. Why have you not been making this? So I'm going to open this up and put these shreds on top and see if a how if it does have like a sort of spicy flavor to them and b if it melts and if it melts well. Okay, so I opened it and I sniffed it and I could sort of smell some of the pepper and then I was like immediately concerned because I could see green flecks and then I thought, oh my gosh, is this moldy? I'm so upset. But then as my daughter, who is probably more worried about and concerned about mold than I tend to be, looked at it and we realized there are also uh, red flecks. So I guess the pepper that's put in here, yeah. So I feel a lot better because, you know, it's, it sucks to buy something from somewhere and then realize you can't return it. I'm just tasting it. Okay, yeah, okay, I like this. This finally is a Tex-Mex cheese that I'm tasting that has a little kick to it. Not too much, not enough that's gonna have you like upset unless you absolutely hate spice. But let me get it on the enchiladas. I'm gonna bake, see how they turn out. Yeah, like it tastes good. I don't know if you can see like where I was alarmed. You can, if you take a close look, some of these pieces that have the green, I was like, like over here. I don't know if you can see it well. I was like, no, is this moldy? I was like so upset, but you no, know, it doesn't taste moldy. And I realize it is the mix of the peppers. Um, I'm gonna see how this melts. It has a really, does have a really nice flavor to it just out of the bag. I've always loved chow cheese. I do know that chow cheese, the slices tend to go more moldy more quickly than other brands. So if I'm not gonna use more of this, I'll probably put it in the freezer because the truth is we bought a lot of cheese. <laughs> I bought that, I bought the one from Whole Foods. I bought Riviera, I bought a bunch. So. I've got to put some in the freezer so they don't all go bad. Now, if you look, it looks pretty dry. And, you know, some of the cheeses are more dry. And this, I guess, like um, Earth Island, perhaps in the toaster oven, when you don't have it, I mean, there is a bit of sauce, uh, is more, is drier. There was a guy who said that you could, that he thought it's best to take your shreds, kind of cut them and put oil on them. So I'm going to do that with a little bit Add it to the top, see if it makes a difference. I guess that the idea is the shreds seem to have like a, a maybe a starchy coating on them that, you know, if you put a bit of oil, okay, instead will hopefully, you know, will help it to melt better, something like that. We're going to see. Okay, it definitely melted better when we put the oil in there. So, I forgot about that because we had not yet tried that, but that seems to be the trick, guys. If you have like these drier cheeses that seem to have some sort of starch on them or powder to keep it separated, we just cut them up, we put some oil, and it definitely makes a difference. So we're just going to, you know, yeah, definitely that's a lot better. We're going to taste this. And these were super delicious. And as you can see in the next picture, we put our pico on there 
ate this up super, super good. The cheese is really nice. And that's all for now, guys. See you in the next video.